Richland Hills Public Library. I'm Miranda, the youth librarian, and this week we are talking about mermaids. Well, I should say our theme is mermaids. We're going to be talking about the science of the ocean. So this is a really cool project. Doesn't take very long. Doesn't require very many things. Um, you need a fairly large container, preferably clear and or white. Um, you need a bunch of water. You need about two cups of ice. You need at least two different colors of food coloring. Um, I'm gonna use red and blue because they look really cool when they're mixed together. Um, I'm gonna, I have a spoon because I'm gonna use it to stir my ice in. And then, so we, we need the water that's in here to be really, really cold. Um, then we need hot water. Uh, the experiment that I found actually called for boiling, but this is much easier for me to do. And it's pretty hot, so I think we're gonna be okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So. For this project, the first thing you want to do is get your water in there. Oh wait, let me move this so that my camera person has a better shot of what we're going to be doing with it. Okay. So, we don't want to fill it up completely, but we do want... Let's see, this container might be just enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Then we're going to put our ice in. Okay, and now we want most of our ice melted, so we're just going to stir it up a little bit. And I may speed this up depending on how long this takes to happen. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've got our ice, as you can see, mostly melted down and it, the water is nice and cold, which is just what we want. So what we're going to be doing today is creating ocean currents in our lovely little container here. So an ocean current is a, kind of like a stream of super hot water that travels through the rest of the water at a faster speed because hot water has more molecules and therefore more energy and so it moves faster through the water. So we're going to basically be making our own little mini current in here because we have our cold water now. So now what we're gonna do, oh, I almost forgot my food coloring. Now what we're gonna do is add our food coloring. So we don't want too much blue because we want the blue, in fact, that's probably good. Well, one more dot, okay. We want the blue to be fairly pale. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'll say, as you can see, I'm making a bit of a mess. Um, it might be a good idea to put down like a tarp or something if you're doing this at home. Um, or to do it outside. Water experiments are always fun to do outside. Okay, so now I've got my nice hot water, still pretty hot in there, so I think we'll be good. And we're gonna put more red than we did blue. So we're gonna do several drops. That's quite a bit of water. Ooh. Let's see. that'll do the trick. Then you're going to very carefully take your hot water and pour it into one corner of your container. And then what's going to happen, um, and you'll see it, uh, is the water is going to spread out and form currents. And the really cool part is it's also going to form eddies, if I did this right. <laughs> and eddies are these little like circular currents that kind of turn into these little spirals. They're really awesome. Okay, so we're going to start in this corner and see what happens. Okay, should I stop? Hmm, oh, there was a little eddy there. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Let's see if we put some more in. It is kind of interesting how it all kind of immediately moved to the other side. So you can see the red is much more prominent in this corner right here as opposed to over here where there's barely any red at all. So let's try some more hot water and see if it'll still give us the same effect. Oh, 
All right, definitely not the same effect, probably because once we started pouring that hot water in there, um, it caused the super cold water that we had to become much more of a lukewarm situation. But again, as you can see, scientifically for some reason that I would have to research because I don't know, um, all of our red has kind of moved to this side of our container. Um, and it's a little bit paler over here, although the longer I talk about it and it sits here, it's starting to even itself out. Um, so this is a really cool experiment to talk about currents. Um, if you're wanting to tie it in with something uh, a little bit more fun, of course, there's always Finding Nemo, um, where they travel through the East Austrian current, sorry, East Australian current. That current is super awesome. It is 12,000 miles long. That's like the distance from Los Angeles and California to New York and New York City four times over. That's how long that current is. And it travels all through the Earth's oceans. So it, there's a lots of different ways that you can tie in this experiment to other things. Of course, like I'm doing right now, I'm tying it into mermaids. So there's our experiment for the week or one of them. There's another one coming um, or already has come. I don't know what order she's going to put these in, but I guess we'll find out. So, <laughs> so there's our experiment. Um, I hope you had fun and enjoyed it. I hope you uh, have fun doing it at home. Um, please let me uh, know if you managed to get better currents or more eddies. I noticed we didn't see quite as many eddies. Maybe I poured too fast. Uh, but again, that's all part of the exper experiment process is to test and see what happens. So thank you again for coming to our experiment today. I hope you had fun and have a good day.